Welcome to this presentation of Atlas 5 for Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. In this presentation I'm going to show you how to use the concurrent license keys and how to activate someone or to give a user, a designer or a standard user concurrent license. First the concurrent license keys are held within the are managed by the service of the Atlas licensing service. That service itself is running as a full Windows service and has its own configuration utility, the Atlas Licensing Server Service. It's an that utility is found in Globe Software Atlas Server Licensing Application. In this application, this is where you'll see who is logged in uh, and what keys they've been assigned, the type of key, and so forth. Uh, so I see here, for example, Susan, uh, she, she certainly has a valid license, uh, which is up for renewal 30th of the 12th, 2011, from a maintenance perspective, and is not concurrent and playing named user. What I need to do in order to uh, use concurrent licensing is I need to paste in here my license key for designer concurrent and my license key if I have one for standard concurrent. So I shall do that precisely now. When I paste these in and save my changes, you will not notice there will not be anything different. These numbers here are online users and maximum user count. The maximum user count will be updated the first time someone logs in and authenticates this license key. Until then it does not go back to the Atlas licensing service running on our website uh, to verify this. So I've got these two keys in. I can simply now, as I have, I've saved it. And what I can now do is set up a user to use one of these two keys, which I should do also. So what I'm going to do is Sarah has not had Atlas before so I'm going to install Atlas on her machine it's obviously installed on this particular image uh, but not as a, as a user and authenticate her license using the designer concurrent and then I'll go back into licensing service and we shall see what is in there so first thing I need to do is set up Sarah with a Atlas configuration when I run my logon uh, then all of this is blank besides the standard setup so Sarah and I shall log in so logging in obviously it's the first time she's used it uh, and so it will say this requires activation so on the activation so we'll put in contact details and now I can decide what sort of license key I'd like Sarah to use so I want the server to allocate a designer key for her I'm going to leave this blank as the server will be the licensing service itself will, will do this as I activate and activation completed uh, so, as Sarah is logging in, I shall now have a look at my Atlas UI, and you can see here uh, online users. Sarah is obviously logged in as a concurrent user, uh, and if, when I go to my concurrent license keys, I now can see that the maximum concurrent user count is five. So this license key is for five users, uh, out of which one user is currently online. Uh, if I log zero off, and come back to my licensing service, then you can see online user zero is now gone, and in my configuration, sorry, concurrent keys, online users is now zero. So this is demonstrating using the concurrent license keys uh, with Atlas 5. Thank you very much.